Think of a situation in an intimate relationship, present or past, but this will be in the past somewhere, where somebody did something that was hurtful enough that you had one of those reactions, one of those knee-jerk, ah, reactions. Could have been you know, an anger, fear, running away reaction, but it just, you know, it, it hurt, and, and you knew it, and you knew that this was more than just a one-time thing, that this, this, is, this, this hits you deep. So think of the situation, who the person was, what they said or did or didn't do. So I'll just give you time to reflect there. Try to be as specific as you can in terms of getting an image and what words, the actual behaviors, because you, the more you can access almost like a videotape recording of this thing, the better it'll be for your healing. If you get into vague generalities, that doesn't do the job. That almost keeps you stuck in your interpretation of the event rather than the actual event. Who needs more time? Can I see a show of hands? Okay, I'd like to just, before I call somebody up to be here with me, just hear from a few of you what was the button-pushing event. Just, just tell me what the button-pushing event was. You don't have to go any further right now, because I want to begin to develop a language of being really specific. Yes, I'll just repeat it. No. He's got a mic? Okay, good. Uh, my Thanks. specific event was not being responded to when I asked a specific question. Okay, that's not specific enough. Oh, oh you what really was want your question, and okay. what did the other person oh. do? That's how specific we need to how, be for this exercise specific. to work I, um, for you. I have um, been corresponding with my uh, childhood sweetheart who mm -hmm. contacted me after 20 years apart. And um, so we're sort of online. Just dating. what's the event, and though? He, we don't have to give I've the asked, background. What's well, I've the event? asked him several questions specifically about himself and wh who he is now, and, and he doesn't respond. And so wh what that uh, inspires in me is I'm too much. There, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm too much for him to take. <laughs> very good, very good. Okay, that's specific enough. Thank you. All right, so let's hear a few more button-pushing uh, events. And uh, uh, I'm imagining that some of us can identify when, when we hear these events, like, ooh, yeah, I might go into that mind chatter also, like I'm too much. This is How many women, well, let me just say this. How many, how many women in the room, I'm just gonna do this with women for a minute. How many women in the room have at times had that thought, you know, I think if I came on really full, I'd be too much for my partner. All right, how many men have had that fear? Thank you, thank you. All right, next. Um, I've had this button pushed repeatedly in various relationships, and because of the nature of my work, which involves a lot of intimacy with other men, my partners repeatedly don't trust me. And I get really a button push because what, what my button is is they don't see who I am. Okay, give me an care. event, can you? Well, I'm, I might be going into a session with a single man and... Think of a specific event, because that will get you into your body. This is good, though. I hope you don't mind my correcting you, because I'm using you to make a teaching point okay. here. Because okay. it won't work unless you're able to be specific. And that's another one of the truth skills, being specific about what actually happened versus okay. your ideas about what happened or your generalizations about what happened. Generalizations keep you in your head. Okay. Specifics bring you into your body. Okay, I get a telephone you're call. You're walking toward meeting with a client. You're 
boyfriend or partner says da 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 or something like that. I get That's a telephone call for. and the telephone call is a client and my partner's in the background hearing this conversation and imagining what's going on in this conversation. As soon as I hang up, I'm designing, arranging a session. As soon as I hang up, who is that? Well, that was a client. I'm going to have a session with blah, blah, blah. Oh, well, what are you gonna do? You know, just like this on the lineup. 30,000 questions about what's going to happen. And that push your button. What are you going to do? I shut down. I get angry. Thank you. Yeah, it's like, you don't trust me. You don't get who I am. I'm a person of integrity. Thank you. Very good. I'm, I, I'm very touched when you guys get into the specifics. I mean, I even, of course, I love the general part, too, you know, but, uh, but when you get into the specifics, then I'm really...